So I remember as a kid growing up, I thought that Hell's Kitchen and Sex in the City were adults only television programs, simply because of the name. These days I've been a fan of the show Hell's Kitchen for a couple of years now. I would say I've watched around 7 of the 18 seasons and it made me respect Gordon Ramsay a lot more while also making me want to become a line chef on the side. I don't think that any profession will drive you faster into chain smoking cigarettes than being a chef on this show. I mean, by the end of it, everyone is puffing on squares. Even contestants that come in smoke-free leave smoking like chimneys. Because this show gets very intense, and the chefs are at each other's throats constantly. Not to mention Gordon Ramsay going Super Saiyan about a hundred times an episode, punching salmon and calling people donkeys. He just loves destroying each chef one by one. For those of you that don't know, this show is a competition where 12 to 20 chefs compete to see who will be the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's newest restaurant, usually coming with at least a $250,000 salary. And the chefs range from very experienced to damn near what seems like a Burger King cook. And it always starts out as men versus women. They have challenges and dinner services, and one by one, chefs get the boot as Gordon decides who is and isn't ready to be his newest head chef. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that if you fuck up, you need to to just own up to it and tell chef it won't happen again. The last thing you want to do is pull excuses out of your ass and start pointing fingers and blaming all of your teammates for your downfalls. Or even worse, arguing with chef Gordon Ramsay. That's about an instant death sentence right there. Be on but a bitch. You got no respect. No respect. Make it out. With this being said, every season there's always contestants that I like and contestants that I can't stand. So of course I love to see the contestants I hate get yelled at and eliminated. I mean, that's really just part of the joy of this amazing show. And y'all know me? I'm a simple-minded motherfucker, and I love reality TV. And the season I'm currently watching has this contestant named Johnny, who has to be just about the biggest tool in TV history. This guy is a textbook misogynist, and not even one that's trying to be funny. Just one that seems like he's an aggravated nice guy who hates on women because he can't get any pussy himself. I don't know why you even fucking look at me. Like, just stop talking to me for the rest of this fucking season. Thank you. Good. No one likes to be around that type of sexual frustration that's being channeled into anger. He's a burger chef, whatever the fuck that means, and he thinks his shit don't stink when in all reality he was ass and they only really kept him on because he loved to constantly stir the pot and that's always good for the ratings. I mean, this guy was a real prick, and I hated how he constantly threw other teammates under the bus while the whole time sucking himself off. You're embarrassing me in front of one of my heroes. Well, I apologize for that. Every single challenge, his plating was horrible, his food was always Betty Crocker bland, and he could never take responsibility for anything. I think this is where I really started to have serious beef with him, because I hate people that can't take accountability for their actions. Oh, I can't help but be a bitch today because the moon is in its second phase from Venus pulling the rotational gravity of the seashore. It's about as much sense as this dude was making with these bullshit excuses. I don't know, I just felt compelled to make a video to put on display how much I truly despise this guy. And it was so satisfying when he got eliminated. It seemed like week after week after week he was hanging on by the thread of his ball sack. And why did he finally get the boot you might be asking yourself? Well, he was being a dick to a woman big surprise, when all she was doing was trying to save his ass and make sure he cooked his fish properly. But he basically told her to fuck off. I just told Johnny, listen, I think I should save your fish off. And he didn't want to listen to me. We're doing the best, just like we always do. So of course, like anyone would, she said, fine, you can sink on your own, dumbass. You're drowning, and I tried to send you a boat, dummy. Because I said that's not how we do it, she just let me go down? Fuck you, Shayna. So they go into service, they start immediately having problems, Johnny doesn't sear the fish, and then Gordon tells them all to fuck off. And if you're the mistake that Gordon told everyone to fuck off on, you're gonna be up for elimination. So they go back, Johnny whines like a little bitch about how his team let him down once again. They end up putting him on the chopping block where he still is making excuses. And the whole time Gordon Ramsay is just looking at him like what a little pussy you are. And then he just burns his ass up with a spicy elimination. What you did tonight. I'm not setting off that fish. You completely screwed the kitchen. And even walking out, this guy don't have any sense of responsibility. And for me to be standing here right now, I want to rip out the beautiful hair in my head. 
God, it's nice to see the mouth breathers of society lose. I don't know, I just felt compelled to make this video because, I'm telling you, I can breathe easy and sleep good at night knowing Johnny ain't winning shit. To the gulag with you, young man. You're trash. You're plating. Garbage.